When I work with technical specifications, I can see in my dashboard that the new technical specifications have not been approved because the light here is red. Technical specifications have a specific view that shows the fields relevant for these products. So in this case, I have the French press coffee makers, and they have these attributes. But if I go to my coffee machines, they have completely different attributes because they are much more complex products. When I go through the technical specifications, I can of course edit the fields directly in here, as I did with the master data. I can also select two products and compare them and see the differences between the two products. So this view only shows me what is different with the two products. Some fields are not fields where I just type in information. Some fields are where I select a value, and that has a benefit because then you get consistency that the user spells stainless steel the same way every time. It also has another benefit because in here, I actually have a translation of stainless steel. So I can see here that stainless steel is Edestal in German and Orphestal in Danish. I only have to make this translation once for the entire list, and when the user chooses the English value, Perfian already knows what that is for the other languages. When I am happy with my specifications, I go in and improve, and once I have approved them all, all you can see that the top group is now approved, and that means when I look at my dashboard and I look at my product group level, you can see that specifications is now approved. When I have many products and I as a user want to find specific products, I can utilize filtering in Perfian. Filtering is very easy. If I only want to see stainless steel products, I just right click on stainless steel, see filter by value, and it narrows down the result. Further, if I only want to see stainless steel products with a diameter of 10.5, I just filter on 10.5, and again, it narrows it down. This filter can be saved, so I can give it a name here and save it and reuse it for later.